हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू सेलो विकास चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टेकिंग अ राउंड ऑफ एमरजेंसी हेड क्वार्टर दैट इज ई एच क्यू एंड आई विल लेट यू फेमराइज विथ ऑल द थिंग्स एंड द कंटेंट्स इन साइड द ई एच क्यू सो लेट अस स्टेप इन सो एज यू कैन सी हियर इट लुक्स सो मच कलरफुल दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट in the ship this area the emergency head quarter so let me start from the starting of the entrance of this hq now you can see here this there is one co2 extinguisher cap and you have to make sure that the lsa ffa symbol is posted near the extinguisher and the stowage position and then also you can check that it is monthly inspected now along with this the inside we have uh, this is called scba compressor for uh, charging the air bottles then what all we have now here we have uh, fire pump you can operate the fire pump number 1 and number 2 from ehq then water spray pump and emergency fire pump so water spray pump is basically for the lpg ships i am on lpg ship so we require it spray so this also you can operate from here other than this we have emergency stop switch esa and esb so basically esa is for emergency uh, engine room and uh, esb for accommodation so esa in this you can see here that uh, engine room auxiliary machinery stop esa button in the event of fire in the in engine room space push the button esa to stop so when you press this esa button this all pumps will stop pumps blowers pumps this all will stop so this has to be done when there is a fire in the engine room and this is for the deck or accommodation i mean so the fans except engine room stop esb button so the fans except engine room so engine room fans will not stop it will only the accommodation space will stop so you can see your galley supply sanitary space etc cargo switchboard room pipe duct exhaust fan then dcp room sun dry space then g1 and g2 panel this is for the galley and uh, then steering gear room supply fan bosun store this all will shut when you press the esb so if there is a fire in accommodation you have to press esb to don't let the uh, smoke come inside the accommodation so we have this then these are the symbols um, posted for all the esa esb and the fire pumps etc then we have this uh, two red boxes as you can see these are as you can see pneumatic control cabinet for dry chemical powder monitor port and this is for starboard so you can see here this is a inspection label and this is the uh, symbol for the uh, pneumatic control cabinet for dry chemical powder so let us see what is there inside oh so here it is this is a small nitrogen bottle and uh, this are the valves for when you open this they will go to the dcp tank then here are the instructions posted so basically this is for the monitor as you can see here dry chemical powder monitor so we have monitor port starboard on the deck near the manifold so to operate that let's say there is a manifold fire so to operate that we use this unit i will cover the operation procedure in a separate video i am just now i just want to familiarize with what are the contents of the ehq so this arrangement you can see we can keep the scb bottles here for during charging so the next thing comes is the local fire fight fighting main control panel so basically this is a hypermiss system which is there for engine room so this is the one it is make sure that it is always kept in auto 
so if any of the units like main engine number number 1 generator number 2 generator if anything is uh, uh, activated by smoke as well as heat then this will activate automatically then let us see what we have for the we have this fireman's outfit so this two fireman suits are kept ready for emergency then we have a fire plan so we have a fire plan with updated crew list and msds all well equipped now let us see what we have so we have this uh, cupboard we have scba sets all well kept well arranged so you can see here this two scba sets well arranged then we have the helmet and the torch and the line then the spare extend spare scba bottles that is 200% spares so for one scba set we have two spare bottles so that that is what it means 200% spares then we have the gloves and the fire axe and the torch again so this all we have in the ehq so other than also after the scba there is a stretcher and a dummy kept here stretcher for medical team and dummy is basically for enclosed space uh, rescue so that is also stored here so now you can see here this that we have this pressure gauge where we can see the fire pump pressure as well as the uh, water spray pressure then what is this this is for co2 fire extinguishing system for engine room so if there is a fire in engine room we have a co2 room so you can operate that co2 system from ehq so that is what it is there then this is co2 fire extinguishing system for compressor room so because this is lpg ship we have a compressor room so for fixed fire fighting we have co2 bottles now for this two we have uh, separate bottles we have basically let us see the procedure here the procedure is written so here you can see that for engine room we have 195 bottles and for compressor room we are 70 we have 17 bottles so if there is a fire in compressor room so we have to discharge this 17 basically comp uh, bottles but if there is a fire in engine room this compressor room bottles will also be uh, extend uh, also be discharged because it is both are part of the same thing so now let us see what is next we have ebd these are the spare ebds kept here and then we have this training ebd kept here then we have one safety harness kept and then some lines and this is the quick cement as per the requirement along with this we have international shore connection kept here then this is a fire repeater panel then these are some helmets as per company requirement then this is quick closing valve this you can see here now there is G group then main engine group and then ventilation dampers so you, when you have to close all this quick closing valves you have to in emergency you have just have to take this hammer and you have to just uh, break this glass and you have to operate from here operate the valves because there is a tank inside and it is already pressurized you can see six bars so that is we have here in EHQ and other than this we have the spare hoses fire hoses kept so in EHQ this fire hoses should be of all type now let's say if my in engine room I have 50 mm diameter fire hoses and on deck I have 52 mm so in EHQ I should have both the types of fire hoses to be used in emergency so this is one more box for ISC as you can see here then we have helicopter equipment oh that's nice we have a lot of things out here we have gloves we have fire wallet we have this marshalling baton safety harness then wire cutter hacksaw then some uh, 
screw drivers and uh, blades so this is what are the few of the contents of uh, helicopter equipment along with this we have also this crowbar and uh, uh, this wrench for the helicopter equipment now these are the very important things these are the fire fighting radios so as per the companies not company i mean to say as per the new requirement as per solas this radios should be operated with hands free so that is why this bone marrow condition i mean to say the, when this gets pressed that time only the voice is transmitted that is basically hands free operation so this are as per the new regulation so along with this we have general emergency alarm which can be raised from here then this is a manual call point so this is what we have some caution notes for the scba compressor so this all we have on the top we have uh, one smoke detector as you can see here so this is what we have in ehq major things all the procedures and you can see here the procedure for dry chemical powder system also so this was all about the contents of ehq so i hope guys you have liked this video so please like subscribe and comment below and you have any doubts you can comment below thank you guys for watching